Earlier this year, we had a hearing that focused on the importance of maintaining our current nuclear fleet and developing advanced reactors. That hearing set the stage nicely for this one, as developing additional value streams for nuclear technologies will help their competitiveness in electricity markets. In addition, being pioneers in this endeavor will allow the U.S. a competitive edge in the international market. Reducing emissions in the industrial sector has been identified as a significant challenge that we must tackle in order to meet our climate goals. The U.S. has had success in lowering emissions in electricity and transportation sector due to advances spearheaded by the Department of Energy and Energy Efficiency, renewables, batteries, and electric vehicles. But as we have progressed in these sectors, emissions from the industrial sector have increased by about 69% since 1990. The industrial sector also represents a significant portion of global emissions, accounting for approximately 28% of total greenhouse gas emissions. As developing economies begin to shift to more energy intensive industries, the U.S. must be on the cutting edge in developing the technologies required, on to, uh, required to decarbonize industry. This shift is an enormous opportunity to deploy new technologies domestically and abroad to promote job growth here in the U.S. as a demand for nuclear technologies that reduce emissions and deliver industrial products such as hydrogen, chemical feedstock, district, uh, district heating, water purification, and building materials increases. Last year, we authorized a nuclear and in integrated energy systems research development, demonstration, and commercial application program as a part of the Energy Act of 2020. And we are fortunate to have Dr. Shannon Bragg sitting, uh, who is leading the crucial endeavor with us today. The Department of Energy and Natural Laboratories, National Laboratories, are developing energy systems designed to be jointly operated with nuclear energy to reduce emissions in both the power and non-power sectors while maximizing energy production and efficiencies. In short, this program will help commercialize technologies to reduce emissions for water purification, heat for industrial processes, microgrids, district heating, and other various applications, all through the use of nuclear energy. The Department of Energy is leading a tri-lab consortium, including Idaho National Lab, the National Renewable Energy Lab, and Nettle in Morgantown, West Virginia, to pioneer the technologies to transform how we use energy. As we begin this transition, it, it is my hope that we can commercially deploy these types of technologies in my state of West Virginia. However, West Virginia has had a ban on the construction of nuclear power plants for over two decades. Uh, this is something that I would like to see changed. And I have spoken to all of my friends in the legislature, and I think they understand the, understand the need and the urgency also. I believe advanced nuclear reactors hold enormous potential to provide opportunity to communities across the country with zero emission base load power. I'm very excited to get the utility perspective today from Dr. Paul Chodak uh, on how we can best deploy the next generation of nuclear. With that, I'm going to turn to my friend, Ranking Member Barrasso, for his opening.